Hi, I'm Ross Jacobs and welcome to another video. Today I want to talk about patting a horse or petting a horse as some people say. I do a lot of clinics every year and it always surprises me how little thought people put into um, why and how they go about petting their horse. I think it's very important that we touch our horse but it's important that we understand why and how because we need to do it at the right time for the right reasons. There are two main reasons why we should touch our horses. The first is for us. A lot of people want to touch their horse because it gives them a calming effect. In fact, it's, it's almost impossible for people to stand near a horse within reach and not want to touch them. It's the same with dogs and and cats, people have to restrain themselves from over uh, petting them. So a lot of people do it for them. It gives them, when they're riding, it gives them a little more confidence or it gives them a break from the work so they can gather their thoughts again and figure out how they're gonna to proceed to the next task. So that's one of the reasons. The second reason we do it is for the horse. And this has different implications. If we're going to do it for the horse, most people will say that they're doing it because they want to show the horse their gratitude for doing a good job, they're telling him he's a good boy, it's giving him a release from the pressure, it's to make him feel better and to help him to try even more next time. If we're going to do it for the horse, then we have to do it in a way that most benefits the horse. And it surprises me a lot that they, people don't often realize that the way they pet the horse isn't really about the horse. Two classic examples of this that you see all the time. One is that I call the Olympic slap and it's there. And I've never known a horse to enjoy that. The other one that you see a lot is what I call the pot scour. And a lot of people will do this as if they're trying to clean their horse. Or well, they'll do that as if they're trying to clean their horse. And again, a lot of horses don't enjoy that. There are some trainers who think that it's mandatory that you pat the horse between the eyes with vigor. And you'll see a lot of horses cringe at that. Some horses like it. Six here tends to like it. In fact, if you put a, your hand up, sometimes she'll even go to touch your hand. Not so much this time because uh, she's not very itchy. But in summer, when she gets quite itchy, she'll, you put your hand up and she'll come across the yard to go and rub on my hand. So in that instance, I'll let her do it. Um, another horse I have is Chops. It's, it's, she'll walk up to me with tail first to present her tail for me to scratch right there. And she loves it. You'll even, her tail will swing to one side to let you get in there. So some horses, that was fine. But there's a lot of horses, they don't like that rough, vigorous touching. When I'm talking to people at clinics and talking about pet your horse, I'll often say, instead of pet him or pat him, I'll often say, rub him with your heart or love on your horse. You need to do it in a way that feels good to the horse. And that's really, really important. If it doesn't feel good to the horse, you're better off doing nothing. The other thing that to think about is that you might want to make sure that you don't do it for too long. Some horses get sick and tired of people touching them and you ruin any positive effect that it has. So you'll see that a lot with people who get in there and they just want to love on their horse and they can't stand not to touch them and they're doing this. And before you know it, the horse is just tuning out because it's just flooding him with all this so-called affection that he doesn't want to be part of. So I really urge you to think about that. You're much better off touching them in a way that feels okay to them and getting out. Leave them 
wanting more. Don't overdo it. This is even particularly true when you get a horse like Guy, who our Arab, who loves to get it scratched under his neck. He just adores it. But you do a little bit and get out so that he wants more. And that's more benefit comes from that than if you get in there until he's fed up with it. Don't destroy the good feeling that petting can produce. The other thing I want to talk about is that not all horses enjoy being touched. And certainly not all horses enjoy being touched in the same way or in the same place. The first thing I tell people about when they want to pet their horse is make sure their horse is paying attention to them. If the horse is not even there mentally with you, then touching them does nothing. It's just background noise. It has no benefit for the horse at least. So if I wanted six and if she was interested in something else, like over there, then I might say, hey, six, come here, there. And I'll get in there and I'll touch her and then I'll get out. Other instances, sometimes a horse is distracted and I'll touch them to draw their thought back, but it's to draw their thought back to me. It's not to pet them to make them feel good. And so that's a time when, when they are a little distracted, I might touch them, but just like I might uh, tap somebody on the shoulder to get their attention when they're busy with something else. Or I might say, hey, can you help me? Same thing. But that's not the same thing as touching them to say thank you. But there are some horses who dread people touching them. And you need to recognize that in, a, in the horses. We have a little pony here that she's not terrible. She's a lot better than she used to, but she used to hate being touched. She would just, it would drive her nuts. And so if we're doing it for the horse, don't touch those horses. Or if you do do it, just do a little, get out. You know, there are probably people in your lives that aren't huggers and you go to hug them. And even though they know that you're close and you have um, good feelings towards them and you, and you want to show that you're, how much you like them, hugging them is not the right thing to do if they're not into hugging. So you hold back and you just find other ways to let them know that you care. And it's the same with horses. So I want you to think about this stuff. It's, it's actually really important. And I've covered it very, very basically. There is a lot of things that go into considering how to pet a horse. And it constantly surprises me that everyone thinks they know how to do it. Everyone thinks they do it right. Everyone thinks, it, why do you have to learn how to pet your horse? I know how to touch my horse. But they forget that this is not about them. This is about the horse for most times we touch them. So if you're going to do it for the horse, do it in a way that feels best to them. Give that some thought. Good night, Alice, wherever you are.